Hi everyone, welcome to our session on smart project. As you all are here as engineering consultants, I would like to share my experience of having worked with a large number of engineering consultants over the past two decades. My name is Vargis Daniel. I am the CEO of Rent Solutions, the developers of Smart Project. Now, to help you understand what is that our solution can help you to do, I'm, I'll take start with a case study of a, a particular project which was envisaged by the client to execute in 36 months where there were multiple bidders and there was one bidder who, who quoted for this particular project to execute it in 25 months. Now, the client wanted to take this offer because this was about uh, extracting 1.2 million barrels of oil and you can imagine 10 months of saving is a lot of money to live it. So they decided that they wanted to go ahead with this, but with a fantastic opportunity for the uh, EPC by offering them an incentive if they comp completed the project on time, as well as a, a penalty in case they don't do it on time on a daily basis. But what they did was, they, this particular company, which agreed to do this in 25 months, happened to be from China. And this client wanted to have the engineering done from another client from a different part of the world, which is from US. So they asked this Chinese company that, we can you get the engineering done? Can you work together where the engineering comes from the uh, American company and the Chinese company does the, con the construction? So they put them together and decided to execute this work. So the project manager of the engineering company, who is our customer, he said, if I can plant this in Primavera, then I'll be able to execute it because we have a tool which can help us monitoring the project. So the unique thing about this project were four things. One is there were two stakeholders who have never worked together and having different languages. So there could be a huge collaboration and communication issue associated with that. Second is, because the number of man hours of this project was about 400,000 man hours, it could not be executed in one office. So they had to engage multiple offices, which is four different offices, Abu Dhabi, Calgary, Madrid, Mexico, and India, to work together on this particular project. And third is, that a very tight schedule, every week was important that any delay would directly affect the construction. So they would not, they had no compromise on the schedule and also where they had a tight budget because there was a huge incentive and also a potential loss on this uh, project. So this particular project was successfully executed. If you, I mean, there is on the news in the Reuters, which says is eventually this project was completed in 26 months, not in 25 months. So they had to pay some penalty, but they had a huge incentive and which was a saving that they got through this. So that is a capability of our system in helping you manage projects, which has multiple stakeholders, multiple offices, doesn't matter. It can, it will help you to manage this. So now coming into some of our reference customers, we work in different industry segments and we have customers in almost every sector of engineering. So you can see some of the logos which you might be familiar with. So we have customers across 35 countries and they are engineering consultants who are working in these different industries. Now, I want to sh showcase one of the testimonials. Why I specifically took this testimonial is because in an engineering uh, consultant's project, you have people called project controllers whose job is to track and monitor projects. So in this company, they had 58 projects. They had 58 project managers who were monitoring them. Now, once they implemented smart project, they only they could do that with 13 projects. And the interesting thing is, they say, I mean, as for them, now the projects don't get delayed, but it gets done ahead of time because they are able to plan better and they are able to execute better. So with this example, I'm, I'm giving you the confidence that there is a lot of value that we can offer you as a system to help you manage your project. Now, what is that we can offer you? So I've put that in three buckets. First is that the most important thing for an engineering company is to, is to deliver 
very high quality designs. Second is about delivering this on time to your customer. Third is you want to make sure that you make money. So you have to make sure that you're doing this within your budget, within the time uh, you budgeted so that you are able to complete execute this work on time. So how do we achieve this is what I'm going to share, share with you. And how did we achieve this for other customers is what I would like to share, share with you. So let me take you through this. Uh, what is that we can offer you? So to ensure that you deliver quality, the first most important thing is ensuring your quality management process. So which is defined through our workflows. So whatever process that you follow for your deliverables, you can define it like this, which is uh, the design is done, the interdisciplinary check is done, you send it to your client, then you and eventually release it to a contractor. So this is just a typical example. So whatever the process that you define, you can exactly define it. And most important thing is you can enforce it through a system. Second is, while you are having this design there, at every stage, if you would like to have a checklist, which can prompt the user to check certain things before it's, it's sent to the next stage, that can be prompted. So you're basically building your quality procedure into the system. And then the most important thing is the distribution list, which is uh, by which the, the deliverables of engineering need to go through in terms of review, approvals, etc. This can be enforced into the system along the workflow. So by doing so, you can ensure that every deliverable that is processed through the system is done with quality because you are ensuring processes through the system. The next important thing is also collaboration because while you have multiple stakeholders, these designs are shared. So you have comments coming in from different people. You can capture these comments on the system itself with multiple people's comment on one page. And you can also automatically create a comment resolution sheet using that data and then send it to the relevant people so that every comment that is there is being audited and you have a, you know, you're cap making sure that each comment is closed so that your quality is ensured. So by doing so, and again, whatever process you do in terms of transmittals, in terms of whatever information you share across are also captured as per the workflow that you defined here. Now coming to the next important thing is also about capturing the audit trail and the revision history. Because when designs are exchanged, you want to make sure that you have every detail, every communication, every data that is exchanged is recorded in the system and maintained so that you can go back and review it at any point in time. Now coming to the next point on monitoring your deliverable. So today what we have is as an engineering firm, you have a deliverable list or a pro project schedule itself, which is probably defined in a Primavera or MS project. Now from there, you go into your master deliverable list, which is a list of deliverables, which you will be processing through the system. Now in these deliverable list, you have a process which specify how does the deliverable go to different stages. Now, inside this, you can define the rules of credit as to what is the weightage that you will assign when a certain activity is completed to remove any kind of subjectivity in progress measurement. And based on this, the system provides a to-do list to every user. So whichever user is involved in the project, they get a to-do list. And when they do their respective job, the system captures the actuals and the output produced from this. And from this, the progress is captured and this is updated back into Wrench and this can be rolled up and updated back into Primavera. So you have a closed loop monitoring, planning and monitoring system. So people know exactly what has been planned, what responsibility they have been assigned. And based on the job they do, the actuals are captured. So hence what you do is you can get real time dashboard, you get your S curves, you can get your drill down reports which you need by which you are able to capture the progress and reports that are associated with the project. Now, along with this, and this is how we make sure that you are able to deliver your projects on time. Now, coming into the resources and the manpower, which is the most biggest cost for an engineering firm. Now, you need to make sure that every project that you do, you have a plan which specifies how many man hours have you budgeted for this particular project. And for those man hours, you distribute it in against the different resources that are there. And the system captures the actual time from a timesheet system. So either 
uh, we have an integrated timesheet or we could integrate with your external timesheet system by which you capture the time and from that you will know how much of time has been spent and we already know what is the progress. You know how much of progress has been achieved. So in case you, you, do a, you always do a reference check to see whether for the remaining work, how many more hours would I need? Will it go beyond my budget? This can be calculated. So this will make sure that you are continuously monitoring your, uh, your schedule, your uh, time and the actuals and making necessary corrective actions so that you can do your job within the budget that is assigned. So what can you output you can get? You can get different types of dashboards which will tell you based on your utilization of your manpower, availability of your manpower, how they have been used on different projects. You can get dashboards which will tell you the exact number of billable hours, all the information that is related to the resources are captured here. And then you can also do your earn value curves in terms of your billings, in terms of your cost associated with these resources. So this is how we help you to control and monitor your budget. So ultimately, what does Wrench Smart Project offer to an engineering company? I would call it, call it as a, a 3C system there, wherein number one, it ensures control in terms of quality, project control, document control and resources. It provides a collaborative platform for multiple stakeholders, multiple offices and it provides the tools which are meant for collaboration in terms of review, comments and you can integrate your clients, you can get your vendors and also you can have multiple offices and uh, you know partners to work on the same platform. And the third part of it is compliance. The compliance in terms of HSE, risk, security and quality are ensured through the system so that you can deliver your projects on time with the highest level of quality within the budget. And also when you're capturing the budget, you can also capture your cash flow, which is the most important thing for an engineering company because you know what milestones are the payments that you need to get so you can target following up on those activities which you need to do so that you can complete your also make sure that you get your deliverables executed based on your, the commitments you've given. So this is what you know Wrench Smart Project has to offer you.